What is going on, Apes of the Ape Nation? Welcome back to another video of AMC Hedge Funds getting absolutely destroyed. Now, this is not an official series, but if you want an official series like this or like these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel so I do know this. As well as if you want to stay up to date with the moves that I am making and the community is making, make sure to check out the link down below for the buy and sell alerts. They literally pay for themselves over and over and over again. Now, I do want to get into this, guys. This is absolutely incredible. Murdoch Capital bought 8.5 million shares of AMC, then reportedly sold them off for a profit. Now, if you've been with the AMC movement for a while, you know this. And this was on June 1st, so it was only about 10 days ago. Get this. The kicker is they lost 10% shorting AMC. So we're just going to back up to what actually happened when they bought in and when they sold out. So Murdoch had purchased purchased 8.5 million shares at $27.12 a piece according to the AMC's filing. The company's stock hit a high of $33.53 per share, meaning that Murdoch could have easily gained more than $40 million on the rally. They literally bought these shares in the morning and then sold them out about 3 hours later. This was a massive day trade, about $230.5 million, so obviously they sold it for more than that, but that's what they did buy the shares for. Huge day trade. Every I thought it was pretty crazy that a, a hedge fund was doing a trade like this on AMC and then they came out the same day and said they sold the shares because it was overvalued. It was just a, a big day trade, right? But the kicker is a hedge fund lost 10% in just a few days after a sudden spike in AMC stock derailed an options trade, new report says. Hedge fund Murdoch Capital lost 10% in just a few days amid a recent surge in AMC Entertainment stock price, the Wall Street Journal reported. The fund announced earlier this month that it had purchased millions of AMC shares and sold them at a profit shortly after. The fund is still up 12% year to date, while shares of AMC are up more than 200%. Now, a 10% loss on just AMC alone is the fund getting destroyed. So they were up 22% for the year. And they basically lost 50% of those gains by this bad trade in AMC, which I think the whole thing is kind of crazy. The way they were trying to do it, they were probably trying to tank the share price by saying that they were overvalued, but that obviously did not work. And I'm sure they were quite surprised when their plan did not go as they thought it would. Now, hedge fund Murdoch Capital lost 10% and they just just a few trading days of shares of meme stock AMC Entertainment spiked to record highs. Uh, people citing familiar with the matter. The losses were driven by call options sold by firm founder Jason Murdoch, according to the Wall Street Journal. The position intended to serve as a downside hedge ended up backfiring as the stock surged too much too fast. Now, what happens here, if you sell a call and you don't own the shares, then you're essentially opening yourself to massive risk, to unlimited risk. So you would think they would have just bought these shares to kind of limit some of their risk, but they did not do that. So it ended up biting them in the ass even more because you don't want to be on the opposite end of Wall Street bets and the apes. That is a very, very bad move, especially for a big hedge fund like this. It really calls into question what they are even doing. A hedge fund is really supposed to hedge against not making too much, but not losing too much at the same time. So I found this super, super hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah, it says just one day prior, Murdoch had disclosed 230.5 million purchase of new AMC stock, then immediately sold these shares at a profit, according to the Bloomberg report. Despite the success of that leg of the overall AMC trades, Murdoch's calls on the stock were still held short, leaving them vulnerable to the June 2nd surge, the Wall Street Journal found. Murdoch did close all their options and debt positions on June 2nd, albeit too late to avoid the squeeze. While the fund did earn a roughly 5% return on the debt, it ended up absorbing a net loss of 5.4% because of the options trade. Though the fund took a hit among the surge, it's still up 12% for the year, the journal said. Meanwhile, AMC's largest movie theater chain is up more than 2,000% year to date. Retail traders have been dealing blows to short sellers and hedge funds this year as they poured into stocks with high short interest rates in order to force a short squeeze. Earlier this year, investors on Wall Street bet it's led a share price surge in, in GameStop, which which caused short sellers to lose billions. Now, I just thought this was absolutely hilarious how it all actually played out, right? They were really shorting the stock. They were long on short calls, right? So unlimited risk. And then they day traded the stock 
the next day it went insane and they lost like this at five percent but they lost ten percent overall in amc so that is kind of crazy i just wanted to bring this to you guys i thought some of you guys would get a kicker out of this just because this is pretty much fresh information from june 1st when they did do this essentially day trade in amc so that is going to wrap up this video if you guys want more videos like this make sure to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe to the channel so i do know this i look at the analytics on a daily basis as well as check out the links down below in the description to get up to twenty three hundred dollars in free stock for depositing a hundred dollars using the link for weeble as well as get up to seventy dollars in your choice of free stock stock using the link for public no deposit necessary no need to even link a bank account and you get your stock immediately so that is literally free money as well as check out the buy and sell alerts all of those linked down below in the description until next time i will see you guys later take care